Bee Friendly Charlotte by Andrea Katzmarek. The bees have so many problems, Charlotte often hears people say. There just aren't so many bees, everybody says so. We need bees to spread the pollen for new flowers and plants. Charlotte's school class are learning about why we need bees. We need bees because they pollinate the plants. This means they help the flowers and plants to spread their dust to other flowers to make seeds. Those seeds grow so we get new flowers or plants. Charlotte has learned plenty. Butterflies, birds and other insects help to spread the flower dust from flower to flower to make those seeds. But the honeybee, just the best, Charlotte tells her mum. But honeybees are slowing down, there just aren't so many bees around. We just aren't very bee friendly, are we? So how can I help those bees? Charlotte asks her mum. Charlotte's mum isn't so sure, so they ask people. Bees like gardens with plenty of wild flowers, her teacher tells her. Bees like small bowls of fresh water in the garden, her grandpa says. Bees don't like people squirting pesky pesticides to kill the weeds. Their neighbour knows things. You can make a little bee hotel to help bees sleep through the cold winter, Charlotte's big brother tells her. So Charlotte becomes a busy bee helper herself. First she gets some little packets of wildflower seeds to sprinkle in the garden. There are lots of different flowers that bees like best. Bees like yellow, blue and white flowers and they much prefer messy gardens. Her neighbour knows a lot about bees. Me too, Charlotte smiles. Yellow buttercups, blue bluebells and white daisies and real messy gardens. That's right, try a few red poppies, dark blue cornflowers and tall sunflowers. Make it bright, bees like bright. Her neighbour tells her to let the very end of their garden go wild, back to nature. Me too, I like bright and wild gardens with wild, wild flowers, Charlotte smiles. But I have to wait a bit and water them. Then Charlotte finds some small bowls in the garden shed. She washes them carefully and places them in shady parts of the garden. Don't forget to keep the water fresh, Charlotte's mother tells her. Not too much water. Put a few stones in. Bees can't swim. Oh, bees can't swim. Who knew? Charlotte makes sure her little water bowls are just fingertip deep with pebble stones. Then Charlotte paints a sign, but first asks how to write pesticide. No pesticide in my bee wild garden. They all tell her that pesticide is a big bad word for weed killer. No pesticides, please. Don't be a pest. Bees don't like pesticides at all. Then Charlotte gets to work on her busy bee hotel. An old tin can, scrubbed clean and painted green. She packs it up real tight with lots of old bamboo cane and twigs. Hang it up in a shady dry place. Her brother shows her. Maybe you can make some more. Bees need safe winter places. And so that's what Charlotte did. And don't forget to feed those bees, her neighbour calls over the fence. Feed bees? What food do bees eat? Charlotte is pretty surprised. Near your little bee hotels, you can put some small jars of sugar water in the earth. Put a few holes in the jar for the sugar water to slowly drip out. I'll show you how. Have I helped those bees a tiny bit, do you think? Charlotte asks her mum. Wild flowers in my very messy garden, my little bee hotels hanging around, water and sugar water. Is all that good enough for my bee-friendly garden, do you think? Yes, I think it's excellent. And if we all do the same, it will be a big bee help. I shall just have to tell everybody everywhere, Charlotte smiles, and a bee lands on her floppy garden hat. Perhaps he wants to check into your bee hotel? Her mum laughs as the bee buzzes around Charlotte's hat in a big buzzy circle. And then buzzes off. The end. Thank you for reading with storyberries.com. Free stories for kids.